Hi guys, in this video we'll take a look at the build of the Spitfire Mark 9 from ICM in 148 scale. The kit is well packed and contains multiple sprues, decals for two versions and some nice clear parts. The molds for this kit are made in the 90s, so there is some flesh that needs to be removed but nothing too dramatic. The great thing about this kit is a large amount of extra parts. Not only a fill engine is included, but also two types of bombs and additional wingtips that can be used to create different marks of Spitfire. I started working on the fuselage and added some small cables with pieces of stretched sprue. A fine blade was used to open up the hatch for the pilot. To reduce the thickness of the plastic, I scraped away some material on the inside. This makes the side panels look a bit thinner. Next I mixed a light green interior color that I sprayed with the airbrush and used a fine brush to paint the details. I also bought this nice resin RF figure from PG Production. The figure was put together with super glue and the control stick was attached to his hands. Painting figures is really an art form in itself, so I struggled many hours with my smallest brush to make him look acceptable. I started with a grey primer, then added the white eyes, pupils and skin tones with Faleo model color. And whenever I screwed up, I went back in with another color to correct my mistakes. Next I painted the cockpit. The instrument panel comes with a lot of detail and was painted with a very small brush. Then the pilot was put in his seat. It's amazing how well it fits in this kit. Next the cockpit is glued into the fuselage. I used Tamiya extra tin and a few clamps to hold the parts together. The bottom wing was attached to the fuselage and the upper wing suffered from a few sink marks so these need to be filled in with putty. I also experienced some fitting issues at the wing root and front. I'm not sure but I think it's related to the part I marked in yellow. This part widens the fuselage in the front and as a result requires a lot of extra filler and sanding when the lower engine cowling is added. If you also built this kit and had a similar issue, let me know in the comments. Back in the cockpit I painted the gun side and installed it in front of the pilot. The canopy clear parts were masked off with Tamiya masking tape and then glued in place with micro crystal clear. The open cockpit with the pilot was also masked off, again using Tamiya masking tape. Then the whole model was covered with Faleo grey surface primer. Medium sea grey was sprayed on the underside of the plane. And when dry the underside was masked off again and the first camouflage color ocean grey was sprayed on. Next I used the blue tag method to translate the camouflage pattern onto the model. Tamiya masking tape was used to cover the surfaces between the blue tag and the second camouflage color, dark green, was added with the airbrush. Then the blue tag can be removed, leaving a soft edge camouflage pattern. I continued masking the leading edge and the tail band. For the tail band I used dug egg green and yellow was added to the leading edge. Then the whole model received a gloss coat to prepare the surface for the application of decals. The decals are cut apart and one at a time soaked in water. Micro set and sole are then used to conform the decals into the panel lines of the model surface. A second gloss coat is then added to protect the decals and seal them in for the next stage. And now that the decals are applied, the model starts to look a lot more like a Spitfire. Next I drilled some holes for the machine guns with a small drill bit, as those were missing on the leading edge. Before flight the machine gun ports were sealed with a patch for a number of reasons, like stopping debris from getting in during the takeoff. For this I made a small mask and then painted those red with a brush. Next I added a dark panel wash from Tamiya to make the panel lines more notable. After about 20 minutes I wiped off the excess and the next day the gloss coat was toned down with a matte varnish. I added some dust effects with the airbrush and then mounted the 20mm His Pano cannons to the wing. The masking tape was removed from the canopy parts and I made sure the pilot was still sitting in his seat. The missing parts were painted and then attached to the model. Some small chipping was added with aluminum paint and an antenna wire was made from fine sewing thread and fixed in position with superglue.
So overall this is a really nice kit for its current price. I hope you enjoyed the build as much as I did. Many thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.